Hi, so I'm Liam from Gojia Thermal, who look after CTC in the UK. Uh, I'm joined today by one of our trusted partners, which is Alan from Agensis. So we're here in Dromfield today on a project which is quite unique. So the reason the project's unique is it's a air source heat pump, which is feeding the property and doing the primary heating and domestic hot water. Uh, it's going to be plumbed into the Ecozenic I255 and the benefit of it being plugged into the Xenify 255 is there's also a log burner, which is gonna be feeding it to give it a backup in the winter for the hot water needs of the property. Um, the house is gonna be very eco-friendly, so it's got solar panels on the roof. Uh, it's also got a battery system with inverters, and it's also got MBHR as well. So then, Alan, why, why is it you think that Steve, the property owner, chose to go with renewables on, on this project? Well, I think we've been a new build. Um, it's built really tight, airtight, almost to passive house uh, standards. It's introduced MVHR. We've got solar, so solar battery, excess um, electricity. Yeah. The obvious choice then is to incorporate an air source heat pump, uh, dealing with low temperature underfloor heating. Yeah. Um, and then using the CTC because obviously Steve, the client wanted to incorporate his log burner into the system. That was an important part to make that fit and make that work as it should within the system. The CTC uh, really deals with that and yeah. complements the, the log burner really well. Um, so obviously there's probably also the seven and a half grand from the government grant. Yeah, so we, we've utilised the uh, the bus grant scheme, seven and a half thousand, which is... Uh, a big chunk of money yeah. helps towards it. Um, in yeah. terms of the way that the solar and everything else hooks into the Ecozenith and the, the log burner, uh, would you say that's pretty much a unique product to the market? Have you ever seen anything else that deals with it in such a way where everything can just be plumbed in and controlled from one centre? No, definitely not. Um, if we've wanted to do something like this in the past, we've had to merge different components from different manufacturers together to make a system that can do this. The CTC works perfectly with this uh, to incorporate the log burner in with the heat pump, utilizing solar, it just works great together. And how long have you been a customer of Gojia Thermal yourselves? I think we've been working with Gojia now for a good few years. Um, I'm not sure the exact dates. No. What makes you keep coming back? You. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that personal touch, being local yeah. to us uh, and having that personal touch. Gojo is definitely customer focused, which is great. That's what we need. I like to hassle people. I like to be able to ring someone, speak to them straight to where you always answer the phone. If not, you ring me back. I've now got your personal number, so I, I trouble you on that as well yeah. if I need to. Yeah, I know I'll get hold of you somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, that personal touch for me it, is worth every penny. And in terms of CTC, I know you're you are now fully trained and one of our approved partners. Yes. Uh, what is your plan moving forward with CTC? Is it to, to use it on more premium installs? Is it to try and use it on as many installs as possible? What, what's your plan moving forwards? Well, it's definitely a premium product, which helps with the premium projects that we do, but I'd like to take it more to the masses and, and use it more frequently. The more you use something, the more confidence you get with it, the more familiar you are with it, uh, you know, and being able to use Igor as a backup and his technical skills. Yeah. Again, at the end of the phone, every time we need it, it's great. I know it didn't go 100% swimmingly, this one, when we first delivered this, the kit. It did come damaged there because then if the courier had a bit of a mishap with it, uh, we got that turned around pretty quickly for you, didn't we? The, yeah, next parts. next day. So we spoke to you. Uh, we've got a couple of damaged panels. Spoke to you. You you personally shipped them out straight to us. Perfect. So then, Alan, if you just want to talk us through the pipe work, because I know to a homeowner that's not used to this sort of system, it can look quite daunting because there's a lot of pipe work. Obviously, there is a few extra bits in here for the log burner. Uh, if you just want to talk us through what everything is and, and where it all goes to, just so that homeowners can get a better feel for why this is needed. Yeah, of course. So obviously it does look a little bit busy with uh, having a heat pump 
rather than what most people have got a combi where everything's hidden. We've got more exposed pipe work in this situation. So we've got over here, the log burner flow and return. This is part of the log burner safety device. Okay. Heat pump flow and return. Yeah. Filter to protect the heat pump. Yeah. On the return. Hot and cold. Yeah. Into the unit. And then we've got our flow and return for our heating distribution this way. Perfect. And this is all on underfloor heating throughout the property. The okay. whole house is underfloor heating throughout. Okay. So what temperatures do you, would you expect to go through through? for this to be producing to heat this house to say 21 degrees internally so when the floor heating is low temperature uh, we've designed it as low as we can it's designed at 42 degree flow temperature but that's when it's minus nearly minus four outside okay so it's got to be really cold for it to be running at that high temperature because the heat pump is weather compensated you know based on the outdoor temperature it modulates that flow temperature down as low as it possibly can all the time to maintain a 21 degree indoor design temperature. I'd expect this system to be running around 36 degrees for 80% of the heating season. Okay. And that's what makes a system so efficient. Is that right? Yeah. So what, what sort of efficiencies would you expect to get out of this system with everything incorporated when you consider it's got MVHR, it's got the EKZF, it's got the log burner. So we don't to be pushing towards a cop of around four and a half, five to one. Okay, perfect. So in comparison to gas, which is what, like 98% at best efficiency? 94% at best efficiency. That's only the unit itself, but yeah, we, we're now talking four to 500% efficient. Wow. So okay. a massive difference. Okay. And then that's then backed up by solar, which is paying for the electricity that, well, it's generating the electricity that the heat pump yeah. using. So. Yeah, so a big offset. You'd expect very minimal bills at this property then moving forward. Very minimal. And then with the MVHR as well, circulating that excess warm air at high, high level, yeah, it's going to help massively. Uh, so we're now outside with the external unit, which is the EcoF 510M. Uh, as you can see, Alan, what, what do you think the main sales features of the 510 are over sort of other manufacturers and other brands? I think the main thing is that it looks really well. It stands really nice. You know, it's not got sitting on two rubber feet like traditional most units out there. I think it just stands out from everything else. It looks sleek. It's it's nice and smooth lines. Yeah. Great bit of kit. Okay. There are, I also know it's very quiet in comparison to competitors, um, meaning when you're in a conservation area such as this, it's a lot easier to fall into guidelines. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's other problems and factors with that. So, for example, they're building a wall just behind us because it's not allowed to be visible from the roadside, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm just um, going to not be able to see it from the roadside as part of the conservation rules, and that wall will tick the box. Perfect. And with it being a single fan unit, that really helps, doesn't it? Because the wall doesn't have to be as, as high, and it can also then fit under the windows and things like that. Yeah, it's, it just sits perfect where it is. It's a great bit of kit. I say single fan, less on the noise. It doesn't need to be any bigger. Yeah, it yeah. works really well. So then, Alan, would you recommend CTC as a brand? Definitely. It's, yeah. I say it's a great bit of kit. And I know you're like hassling us and you keep coming back to us. I'm assuming that's going to continue. You're going to keep coming back to Go Geothermal and CTC. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's a product I'm definitely going to recommend to all our customers going forward. Perfect. So, as, as we've mentioned before, Alan is from a company called Agensis. They are headquartered in Worksop, is that yes. correct? Yes, yep. Uh, so, they're headquartered in Worksop. Um, you do solar panels? Solar, battery. batteries, EV chargers, heat pumps, Under heating installs, underfloor heating we specialise in. Pretty much all renewables. Uh, yeah. We do a lot of services. Um, we still do a bit of biomass. Area wise, do you cover? So, obviously, you works up and you branch out. So, far? we base works up. We try and stick to a two hour rule in okay. terms of radius of where we'll travel, which covers pretty much all the Midlands area. So, Perfect. so you're a good size operation at Agensis then with enough backup to help customers and make sure they're relaxed in knowing that you're going to look after them moving forwards on service. Yeah, and all that sort of side so we things. like to stick with the customer. We've got 
we do 700 annual heat pump services at the minute. And I say, okay. I think 50 or 60 biomass services still. We cover all our own warranties. So we like to stick with a customer throughout, not just fit and forget, ideal. Um, and the really good news about the CTC product as well, seven year parts and labor warranty. Alan is now fully trained on the CTC range. What that means is he can now do the full seven years worth of the labor side of it as well. So if anything goes wrong, we send him the part, he'll come out or one of his engineers will come out, fix it. And away we go, happy days for seven years. So the homeowner's got complete and total peace of mind on that, uh, which I think is a really, really nice touch. Alan is your man if you're wanting anything from heat pumps to solar to car chargers, anything renewable or anything plumbing and heating related. Click the link below, uh, that'll take you to Alan's website. It will also give you his phone number, all their socials, so they've got a track history of what they've done. So on their Facebook, their Instagram, uh, the LinkedIn profile, it's got a good, good cover of the work they've done with photos and everything so you can see the standards and the quality. If you need anything, click that link below. Thank you.